With Japan's new emperor taking the throne today, we thought we would take a closer look at one of the country's best-known cultural traditions, a tea ceremony. Here to take us through the steps are brothers Kay Hashimoto and Mark Hashimoto. Welcome to your morning. Thank you very much, Amber. Wonderful to have you both here. What a huge honor. First of all, explain to us the significance of the tea ceremony in Japanese culture. Yes, so uh, tea ceremony dates back to over 500 years ago and uh, often used for ceremonial purposes. And this is a perfect example when we're celebrating a new era, Dewa uh, era, and uh, we want to kind of demonstrate to you what usually takes place uh, for this tea ceremony. And we should explain to people, these can go up to as long as three hours. Yes. But we're doing a condensed version That's for everybody right. at home That's today. Right. All right, first of all, where do we start? So what you're seeing right now is uh, Kay demonstrating the purification process of the utensils that are being used. That is called the natsume, which is uh, the tea caddy. And what he's using is a fukusai. It's a, it's a silk cloth uh, that is used to purify all the utensils. Now, mind you, we're I call purifying, it's also called cleansing, but at mm -hmm. the same time, we've, everything's already cleansed, but it, this purification process is also uh, a way of purifying the guest souls together as well, because this is a very um, a tranquil, uh, purity, purif purification moment as well for all of us. The, it's almost a meditation. There's so much um, thought in every motion and in every action. That's right. Um, there's four words that, go, that are very important uh, in this tea ceremony as well which is uh, uh, harmony, uh, respect, purity, and tranquility. So these four terms are very, uh, uh, very well kept in the minds while we're demonstrating this uh, tea ceremony. And what is Kay doing right now? So right now he's warming up the bowl as well, and this is the time when he's going to be purifying the, the whisk, which is all made of bamboo that are thinly sliced into small sleeves, uh, and this will be the key item to making the frothy uh, matcha. While we're preparing the elements, guests should also prepare themselves yes. as well. What, what should they do? What should we do? So you're doing the, this is a perfect example, Anne-Marie. Uh, you're, you're very uh, straight. Mm -hmm. uh, knees are bent. Now, not, uh, not everybody can do this. I know, I know it's uh, very tough. Yeah. Um, but knees bent, uh, proper posture. Usually, uh, uh, we like to request uh, all uh, like jewelry and off. This is because sometimes they, uh, the bowls that we use, dates back to about 300 years ago. Wow. And uh, um, just to be, you know, careful, uh, we would, and then also uh, socks, so you don't wanna go uh, barefoot. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is all perfect right now. No shoes, but feet covered. That's right. And then what is Kay doing right now? He's preparing the tea? That's right, so he's now including the matcha in the bowl. And For today, people who don't know what yes. matcha is, please mm -hmm. explain. So matcha is, a, is this powder, uh, green powder, which is all created from the high tea quali uh, high grade quality le tea, le tea leaves mm -hmm. that are stone milled to fine powder. So all it requires is just hot water and then a whisk to make it a frothy, nice green tea drink. Now, unlike British high tea, where yes. there's lots of conversation, and that's the point of it, is there conversation in a Japanese tea ceremony? There is. Usually the, the conversation is between the, the host mm -hmm. and the main guest, which you're right now is sitting where you're sitting is the main guest. And the conversation is usually the same for all tea ceremonies. It's based on what uh, ingredients are, or what uh, tools are being used, the type of seasonality comments on, on you know, oh, today's a nice uh, spring uh, st start, this mm -hmm. is a new era, yeah. that type of silent conversation usually uh, uh, occurs during the ceremony. Once the tea is prepared, what's our next step? So once the tea is prepared, then first, because the tea itself is a little bit bitter, mm -hmm. uh, we want you to first have a little bit of these Japanese sweets. These are uh, confections uh, using uh, very traditional Japanese uh, sugars. So Do I just take one? You can or take is there one. Is a particular way to take it? Nope, you can just grab one with your hand. Okay. And then, uh, and then enjoy one, yes. Oh, it's good. How's that? Very sweet. Very sweet, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to finish it, uh, but if you like, you can finish, put, uh, finish that all. And then afterwards, we're going to be making this tea. Um, okay. Usually, uh, you know, we can go through this whole process, but I want you to try to experience the tea whisking. Oh, okay, time. sure. Would you like to try that? So right. he's going to pour some hot water in there. Give me that. This is the whisk that you're going to use. So important, you're going to hold like this. Two and then, on yeah, and then you're going to use your wrist like that. To whisk. And whisk, okay. yeah. I'll whisk this one, and then I want to try the one that's made already. Yes. And he says sweets first because the tea is very bitter. That's right. And do I do this on the ground, or do I? Yeah, uh, yeah. You're going to put it on the ground. Okay. You're, you're going to hold it firm with your left hand, okay? And then whisk. Yeah. A lot faster. A lot faster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, now it's trying to froth. Right. right. So this is your natural manual frothing mechanism. And then you're going to slowly 
bring it up a little bit. See that little froth on top? You're yep. going to whisk a little bit of the, that top portion out to clear all the bubbles. Oh. Yeah. Now, I'm doing anybody, a good job of this, Mark. You're doing very <laughs> well if it's your first time. Now, anybody can do this now because you can buy these uh, tools at a tea shop. Yes, you see them. Mm -hmm. and I want to make sure we try the tea. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we take so that out. We'll take that out. You can try a case. Okay. So what you're going to do, and I'll try yours. You're going to okay. first, okay, bow. Okay. You're going to pick up with your right hand, mm -hmm. place it on the palm of your left hand. You're going to first bow. Okay. And then turn the bowl clockwise twice. Once, twice. Okay. And then from here, you're going to drink. Slowly. And how is that? Really good and really yeah. refreshing. This is so much better than doing it, like chucking it back like I normally do yeah. before I walk into the studio. This has a lot of uh, antioxidants as well, and it's a good way to calm and relax the body as well. I want to thank both the Hashimoto brothers for doing the tea ceremony and celebrating with us today. Your morning will be right back.